This year again we welcome back Lumiere to Durham City. Uh, this time we actually have lots of people's favourite installations coming back, so bigger and more popular than ever. Uh, we'll be putting lots of measures in place to make sure that people can enjoy the event and we cause the minimum disruption possible so that people who work and come to the city every day. As usual, to prepare for all the crowds coming later on, we'll be closing many roads, so North Road Clear Path will be closed from 2pm. We'll also be preventing access to vehicles on the peninsula from 1 o'clock, just to make sure we get everything in place. Uh, after that, we'll be putting a ticketing arrangement in place for people coming on foot. That will be in the peninsula, in the historic area, and that goes on from 4.30 to approximately 7.30, depending on how big the crowds are. But please don't forget, the reason that we ticket the peninsula is simply because it's the most crowded and the most confined area. There's lots of things around the city for people to see, uh, so perhaps you want to come see those first and come to the peninsula later on. As usual, if you're coming by car, the best option is to come by Park and Ride. We've got three extra sites on, on the go this year. The sites will be opening on the Sunday. They'll open till late at night, so the last bus will leave Durham at 11.30. Um, if you're a regular Park and Ride user, you need to be aware that the service will change at 2 o'clock on the event days, and that's simply because some of the streets are closing. If you want to stay later, please do so and get a taxi back to the site as well. With the closures in North Road and Clear Path, that, that will affect normal bus users. So if you're coming to the city as normal of, through the event, please be aware that the, your normal bus stop may change. Lots of information out there, particularly at the bus shelters that you normally use. As usual, we're providing lots of information for people to come and enjoy their, their visit to Durham and also information for people who regularly use the city. Lots of information on our website. Please have a look before you come to the event. And for the first time this year, there'll be an app which we'd encourage people to download before they come.